Hi everyone, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining us here for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Thinkorswim trading platform. I got some really cool things I want to show you guys to help make your charting go a lot easier, a lot smoother, a lot faster, and less cumbersome. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, welcome back to all of our subscribers. And if this is your first time here, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. And we make videos just like you see here on a consistent basis. We talk about the stock market, we talk about options trading, and uh, if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider clicking this button right up here and subscribing to our channel. And uh, if you'd like to get notified every time we make a new video, click that bell while you're at it so you don't miss out on any future content. Hey guys, we're inside the Thinkorswim trading platform. And about a week ago, I had a subscriber ask me a question about these buttons that I have along the top here and how I have those set up. So thank you for that question. And I'm, I'm so glad I can make a video on this because you guys, I think sometimes when we're talking about charting or adding indicators or moving averages on our charts, we can get so much uh, clutter on our screen that we actually can't even see the chart itself. We can't you know, it's like the old saying, you know, we can't see the forest because of the trees. So I, I find this tool so helpful uh, because we can just kind of toggle on the things that we want and take those off. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So right now we're looking at a chart of Apple and you can see I have the eight and the 21 period moving average on my chart. But I wanted to look at the 50 and the 100 and the 200 period moving average too. And let's say I look at those on a regular basis. Instead of coming in here and going style and loading style and looking for that uh, that style that I've already saved, I can add that right up in here to my uh, my my tools uh, bar, and I can come right in here and click this moving averages button, and boom, there you go, just like that. Add my 50, 100, and the 200 period moving average. Now, I don't want those on there all the time. I just want to look at them now and then uh, to see where we are in relation to those. So I wanna look back at my clean chart. I can just toggle those off just like that. Now this bar right along here is called the My Tools bar. And you can have it in uh, two different ways. You can have it in a window or you can have it along a bar. And you can make these buttons do whatever you want them to do. So let me show you guys how to set that up. So if you come in here to style and you go to settings, you can see that right down here, there's this little uh, option called My Tools. Now, right now I have my tools set up on each chart. So this bar that you see along the top here is on every chart that I have or every window in Thinkorswim that I have open. So you can see that if I opened up another window, this bar would be on those windows. Now, if I come back in here to style and settings and just go uh, you know, single panel, what that does when I click apply, apply okay, it gives me a panel that I can move around. So it's taken this bar off up here and just basically put it in a panel uh, that I can you know, move around here. I can move it around on my screen. I can move it off screen. I could also click this little pin right here, which will pin it to the top of the screen or pin it above or pin it on top of everything. Uh, or if I leave it unpinned, um, whatever I have, it'll disappear behind it. So I like to keep it pinned if I have it in this mode. But mo most of the time, I would say all the time, I like to have it set up that other way. Now, when we come back in here to style and settings, uh, you're gonna see that it is now toggled off because when I clicked that X, it just turns it off. So when I come back in here to add it to each chart and click apply okay, we can do the same thing here with this pin. If I leave it pinned, this is always going to be visible. But if I unpin it, you can see when I take my mouse away, it disappears. Now to get it back, all you gotta do is just roll your mouse up over here and it'll bring it back down. Now, um, you know, this is very helpful if you're talking about a small screen or you got a lot of, or you got a lot of little screens with not too much real estate on there. Let's say, for example, uh, we had the screen shrunk down to a small form like this. Uh, you know, when you have a small screen, you got a lot of, you don't have a lot of real estate to work with. So it's kind of helpful to unpin it in that case where you can just roll your mouse over it and it'll drop it down. Of course, you can't see the names, but as you hover your mouse over it, uh, it will show you those names. So let's go ahead and put this back open uh, nice and big and we're gonna pin that back on top. Now, let me show you guys how to set those, uh, set these buttons up. So what we need to do is we need to save these styles. So if you're familiar with the style and how to save a style, basically 
we set up our chart how we want. So let's say, for example, we added some studies on here. Let's say we're just starting from scratch. Uh, we had a clean chart. We added a, a moving average on here and we added an eight and a 21 exponential moving average. Now we wanted to save this chart. We could save that chart and name it any chart or and name it any uh, label we wanted to. In my case, I've labeled it as clean because I like just to look at the eight and the 21, but no other indicators on the screen. So I like to just have, that's basically all I have in here other than some a couple of chart labels. So let's say we wanted to save this as a style. So what we would do is come in here to style and then come down here and save style. Now, because I've already saved it as clean, it's gonna populate that in there as clean. Now you can, of course, change it to whatever you want it to do. Now, when you save it, you wanna make sure you click include pattern and study set. Now, when I click save, this time it's gonna overwrite the, the, uh, the style that I already have saved as clean. Uh, so it's gonna pop up this little window that says clean style already exists. Do you wanna replace it? Yes, I do. Uh, but if I didn't have that style already saved, it would just go ahead and save it. Now I have that style saved and I can use it and put it onto my uh, toolbar up along the top here. So basically what all these are is styles that I've already previously saved and gave them those names. Now, when you come in here and you add this onto your chart, just as we did earlier by going style and then settings, and then coming in here and adding it to each chart and then pinning it, uh, it gives us the option here of this gear. So we can click this little gear icon. Now this allows us to customize these buttons. Now, these buttons can be uh, styles, they can be studies, they can be, uh, uh, drawing tools, whatever we want them to be. So let's say, for example, uh, we click on the RSI MACD. Now that's a style that I saved, but let's say I wanted to uh, change the button action. So I could come in here to change the button action. Now I could change that button action to be a drawing tool, and I can come in here and click whatever drawing tool I wanted that to be. Uh, if I had a study that I had set up, or I have a, you know, there's a predefined study in here, I could, I could add that on there. Uh, or a study set that I have made myself, or a style. And these are all styles that I've saved and made, so we could add those styles on there. So you could change that button action uh, by just coming in here and you know change, changing that button action, or you could delete that button. Now, something to point out here is this bar will only allow you to add seven buttons. So you can see I already have seven buttons on here. So in order to uh, add a different button, you'd have to delete one. So let's say we deleted this button. Now you can see that it's gonna allow me to add a button. So I can click that add button now and then come in here and you know add whatever style or drawing tool, <clears throat> excuse me, any drawing tool that I'd like to do. So let's say I like to use the Fibonacci retracements. Uh, I could add that Fibonacci retracement button on there. And then when I click done right over here, now you can see that it's it's sitting right there. And if I wanted to use that Fibonacci retracement, I could just click that and then come down here and draw my Fibonacci tool. Uh, or if I just wanted to come in here and add my moving averages, I could add those moving averages on there. Again, if I wanted to look at IV rank, I could do that. Uh, if I wanted to look at RSI and MACD, uh, or if I wanted to look at the 15 minute extended hours, I could do that too, all with a click of a button. So basically, the way you set this up is you gotta set up your styles, save your styles, name your styles, and then add this to your chart, and then come in here and then just populate those buttons to be whatever you want by adding a button and then telling it, telling that button what you want that button to do. Uh, so really simple guys, and uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you. I really enjoy charting this way because like I said, sometimes I think uh, we can get too much stuff on our charts. We can't, you know, see the forest for the trees, so to speak. And, uh, you know, having this kind of a tool where you can just click through these and just add different things and, and look at different studies uh, really is uh, very helpful, I think. So, guys, if you found this video helpful, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Uh, and if you'd like to get notified every time we put out a new video, make sure you click that bell. Uh, again, my name is Kirk with Tactical Options Trading. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.